I want to just tell you a little something about this gentleman. This gentleman's been in the acting field for a while. He's a personal friend of mine. He, uh, he's been around for a little while. He's uh, pretty experienced in the acting field. And uh, he knows quite a bit. Um, let me just bring him up here. Ladies and gentlemen, a very dear friend of mine. Will you, we call him Uncle Pete. So I'm going to introduce him to Uncle Pete, and he can tell you the rest. Ladies and gentlemen, round world, warm welcome appeal for Mr. Uncle Pete. Come on, Uncle Pete. Pete. Okay, so now we have Uncle Pete here. I'm here. My, Hi, Uncle Pete. Got your life on that. Hello, now, Uncle we call you Uncle Pete. Well, tell me your full name, Pete. My name is Felia, my last name. Felia. Felia. Peter daughter. Felia. Daughter. Right, daughter. but daughter. we know you was Uncle Pete. Sicilian. You're Sicilian. Bravo, yeah, I'm Sicilian, Pete. of course. Yeah. I feel I'm your Felia. But we know you was Uncle Pete. Uncle Pete, that's what Uncle I've been Pete. for years. You know, Uncle Pete, uh, he's an experienced actor, as I said. How long have you been acting? About 20, 25 no, years? No, no. It's about seven, eight, nine years. That's all? That's all. Before oh, I thought it was with your buddy Albert. The yes, you with Albert, the rest of the gang. Yes, Very good. I know that. Now, Pete, tell me something. Tell me a little bit about you. First of all, were you are you a New York guy? Did you get brought up in New York? Yeah, I was born on 14th Street in Manhattan. You're a Manhattan guy? Manhattan. All right, good. And let me ask you a question. Tell me a little bit about your family. I know you have a lovely, lovely wife, a beautiful blonde named Joanna. Is yes, that true? yes. How did you, meet, how did you steal that woman? Uh, she, she was working at uh, Marco's Disco in, uh, about 31 years ago. Oh, okay, uh, I know the place. She was a hat check girl. Really? And uh, she told me one night, uh, you know, I take everybody out for dinner, but I never take her out. So I said, I'll, I'll come on to me. Well, you she lucky said, devil, you huh? Right, and she hooked me right into it. Well, you were, so, you were like a John Trump during the Well, let me say this. Um, tell me about your, uh, you have any children? No, I never had any children. Tell me about your family. Were you, were, were you, what's your family background from? All Sicily? Well, no. My father's from Sicily, Palermo. It's okay. You're Sicilian. Don't worry about it. As long as your father's Sicilian. But my mother's from Naples, and she was the best the cook around. The Neapolitans are beautiful people, too. Right. That's You're a lucky sure. guy. Beautiful. It's the best. Now, okay, so you're from that part of the city. Now, tell me one other thing. Oh, you're only seven years. You're in SAG, aren't you? Screen yeah, go. SAG, I'm in after. How'd you get in there so fast? Well, the first show I did, I did a principal role. Uh, did you make him an offer they couldn't refuse? That was one of the That's things, Uncle Pete on the street. <laughs> and NBC well, didn't like the show, and I was going to make one offer. He would refuse, but... Well, tell me about it. what kind of show. What was it about? It was uh, just uh, interviewing people on the street, talking to them and making them offers to uh, uh, two girls walk in the street to kiss each other. I'd give them $5, $10. Oh, so it's... Up it's up it, the I understand. I understand. And two weeks later, Jay Leno put on the street. You were like an old Howard Stern. <laughs> now I got it. Okay. All right. It was good. So, so now, let me ask you another question. Um, you, how long have you been... Uh, okay, so you, you haven't done any theater. Just... Movies. No, I just did the one uh, one theater thing with uh, uh, one of the part of the Godfather movies, which was uh, Tessio and the complaint. Oh, they did something off Broadway? Yeah, off Broadway. Off Broadway. It was a shoot scene, and uh, I played uh, uh, Tessio. You played Tessio? Right. Is that, is that this called American Gangster, or was that a different movie? No, that was American Gangster. With the movie. With the American movie, with Gangster. Denzel Washington. Now, what did you do on Analyze That? Analyze that, I played a mob boss with my buddy Frankie Gio, who got me into the movie business. Sure, we know started. Frankie. Frankie's yeah. around a long time. Frankie's business. been one of the best. Yeah, he was in Analyze That. He played the mob boss. Right, right? he was the mob boss. Now, what is this other one I see you in? Louis the Wrench. Louis the Wrench, correct. Right. Now, what, one in Rome? What's one that in about? Rome was a scene with uh, a wedding scene in the movie, which was about 20 minutes, a scene with uh, Danny DeVito and... Uh, uh, Don Johnson was in it, and uh, Kristen uh, Bell, which uh, was, uh, was pretty Bell, good. Yeah, yeah. We, we worked on a movie downtown for about two weeks. And you never worked with Tony? Tony Pizarro, uh, no, do you know Louie? I, uh, I never worked with Tony, yeah, never because, worked uh, with because, I, because I never had to go to jail, so I don't think that was a problem. <laughs> <laughs> he knows Tony Pizarro already. Right? <laughs> If I, if, yeah, I did something wrong. I mean, all the guys I know, they're all in jail now, but I, I didn't do anything I got out wrong. last week. <laughs> but you got a wonderful show here. I like it. Look, I think everything Look at the beautiful lady. Right. Can I say something? Pete, Uncle Pete.
So we have beautiful girls on the show. The best, and especially my darling Yelda. She is one of the best around. Yelda? Well, well, let me ex expand you a little bit. Right. Diane Vaslaki. Diane. Uh, she's a beauty. Uncle my little beauty. And we have Christina Lyon. I mean, can you? I know you. Listen, I know you have a beauty. Well, my wife is wonderful. We know. I've uh, seen her. She's adorable. She's uh, she's terrific. She has an antique store down in West Virginia. Does she really? With her mother, so she had for about fifteen years. Mm -hmm. And before. What did that, you do? What was your trade? Your regular trade? Uh, I, originally, I was in the uh, the printing business. Really. Copies and quick copies. Uh -huh. When I knew Al Vitarelli, and that's what we did. All the sure, time. sure, Al. And I became a Friars member. Oh, you are a member of the Friars. Yeah, I'm a member of the Friars Club. And, yeah. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, the Friars is a very big uh, uh, club, I would say. Club, right? yeah. yeah. Very prestigious. A lot of famous people are a member of the Friars. So that's a wonderful thing. How long are you in that? Uh, about 16 years. Wow, you're in that long. Yeah. That's right. Your friend Al Vitarelli. Yeah, yeah, Al Vitarelli. Very exactly. good friend of mine. Known for many years. All right. And he was at the party Monday night, but you didn't show up. Yeah, I wish I could have. Yeah, I wish I, I really I, wanted to. I, I, but I apologize. I, that's all right. You missed all the Italian food. Oh, but I don't. Can I tell you I like the Italian food? Right? <laughs> but, well, well, we'll definitely do that again, Peter. I, I, I'm going to have one probably next week. Now, what are you doing now? Are you having one next week? I think I will. Probably right, right before. Now, did you have uh, a friend open up a restaurant just recently? Yeah, Vespa. Let's restaurant. give him a shout. Vespa Restaurant at 1625 2nd Avenue between 85th and 84th Street. Nice. Yeah. Richie Manzone is his name. He's a wonderful guy, and he, he really has terrific Italian food. Now, do we do we tell you, as I always talk about this on my show, Uncle Pete, did we tell you that I wrote a script a couple of years, three years before 9-11? It's called Target New York City. I don't think I told you about it. But we're going to talk about, more about that together, and uh, I'm sure... We get you on with that. Nice. You know, there's a lot of good parts in that. Be, We're trying to develop right now. We're getting ready to do a, a short for that. Yeah. And uh, actually, Tony Pizarro plays Lenny Peretti, and then he's uh, got a major role. Uh, he, he plays my lieutenant. And then uh, Tony Fatone, who right. you just saw a minute ago, right. he plays my uncle Andrew, as a matter of fact. He's uh, Andrew Leonetti. He's another major yeah. role in the script. Right. But we'll talk more about that. Uh, All right, good. We'll let I'm you gonna, know. I'm going to do Sunday night. Uh, there's a movie, uh, Miami and Bust, with Chris DiPero in Jersey. We're going to shoot a 50 guy uh, a Texas holding uh, poker game. Oh, really? So I'm going to be in that movie, and uh, we're shooting Sunday Who's night. producing that? Uh, I don't know who to put it, but he's directing it. I know Chris DiPero mm -hmm. from Jersey, and uh, he picked me up out of Facebook. He got you out of Facebook? Right. So, uh, Beautiful. Facebook is the place to be today. Yeah, Facebook is the end place. Sure. Well, listen, time is starting to run late, right? mm -hmm. so what we're going to do is we're going to thank you for coming in. We want you to stay. Don't go anywhere. And uh, I think that uh, Tony, yeah. my co-host, 